Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon and Virgo Rising Weekly Tarot reading June 4th to June 10th 2018 So 4 cards spread, the first card showing up the topic for Virgos, this is going to be the um, Nine of Swords The uh, second card showing up the core of the situation, here we do have the Seven of Pentacles <clears throat> then we do have challenges that Virgo needs to overcome that is going to be the Ten of Pentacles and last but not least we do have the Guidance card for Virgo, this is the Judgment card. So what happens is that Virgo are going to wait up for something and the longer they wait the longer they will start implementing thoughts that this ain't gonna happen and they are going to feel despondent about it. Now very important to know here Virgo is that this most likely will concern money or it's going to concern material comfort overall. And this is going to make you very hectic about it because the um, these couple of cards here, the Seven of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords, in that particular position, same combinations, does expresses up that you are waiting for an event to happen, alright? Probably an announcement from your career or an announcement into your relationship which isn't happening uh, in the time frame that you are expecting it to happen. So in other words, let's say that you are expecting this is going to happen in Monday or Tuesday but it never comes and that makes you very nervous, that makes you very, um, as I said, hectic and... Um, uh, that, that there is a, a severe uh, severe threat here that you may start becoming frantic with your performance and when one is frantic it doesn't make a good impression overall. Now it is very important here to be said as well is that you have to be very careful with your, uh, with your exertion of skills, knowledge and uh, as well devotion into one relationship as I said uh, in, as we do have the judgment card into a guidance position it means that the be not the best but the key and the resolution of the of the situation is yet to come all right so very important is not to take a, a major investment is in neither of those fields right now regarding the issue that you are concerned about all right but instead you have to face your fears and how one can do so well one needs to take responsibilities for their personal actions and when you are not making a severe actions there are no responsibility to take and boom there is no fear for you to overcome so this is all about what is going on that week very important as well to be said <clears throat> is that you may feel a little bit oppressed either uh, because uh, it, it is very difficult to explain it because this is a chain of events and let me give you an example of that chain of events so let's give it an example into one relationship all right you're waiting your partner to make you an announcement for something that you want to be a positive announcement for all right and so you can uh, so you kind of like turn the tides in your favor you're starting to please your partner uh, way too much that, than you need to or way too much even that your partner wants to all right and that will may start aggravating them that that may start annoying them either uh, as well um, so on and so on and this for sure may uh, kind of have a negative impact upon your relationship so you have to be completely yourself all right even though within yourself you may feel nervous even though within yourself you may feel impatient you have to remain calm and you have to keep your cool poker face and uh, uh, sadly uh, th this particular uh, announcement or decision from that third party is going to, how can I place it, it is a, a very important for you so it's going to decide very substantial part of your life. This is displayed here by these couple of cards and as I said the best favor you can do is to show them that actually you are not very concerned you know how the things are going to unfold. Uh, it's the same thing into uh, when one is trying to apply into job and you are not showing yourself desperate that you need that job you know because uh, um, when you are showing yourself desperate that you need a job then uh, people have more influence upon you and in general more control upon you. So that being said uh, for you Virgos it will be very important to uh, take it um, take it easy that week and also do not presume anything all right it's just wait for that important event to happen and that important event is going to play in your favor that is displayed here with the judgment card all right because right now you're probably thinking that uh, 
everything is black and white, all right? But in the same time, the judgment card says that there will be a either compromise solution or a common ground found. Only thing that you need to do is just wait and do not give yourself to the fear and uh, but, uh, because when you do give yourself to the fear and you try to um, save the day uh, before the time is right only thing you're gonna show is how frantic and desperate you are you know to maintain the control upon the situation and clearly the control is not in your hands right now so with that being said this was your weekly tarot reading Virgo for June 3rd, uh, June 4th, excuse me, to June 10th, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.